folks want to do this? Why are you so passionate about this? Oh, so the question was, why am I so passionate? That may passionate? be an hour. I'll wait a second here. Let's You're opening it. up a can of worms. Five man. minutes. Okay. Uh, Quickly. On a brief, uh, we were... Calvin and I raised on a tobacco farm. Um, we saw we saw the decline of the tobacco industry, the decline of the tobacco <laughs> industry, and uh, really saw you know our family and community start to even go into somewhat of poverty. You know, it was kind of hungry. So that actually instilled in me like there's another way. So I started educating myself and um, and really got linked in, especially when I went to Colorado, about educating myself on the potentiality of hemp. And then I'm like. Well, that is a very good uh, potential to go and be a replacement for tobacco. And as we got even further into this, um, I think that we're even seeing not only could it be a replacement, but it could be a value add uh, to the tobacco crop. Because as, if you're planting industrial hemp, and we've already seen the research behind this, that the years following an industrial hemp grow, you're actually seeing increased yields from, uh, from your follow-up crop. So we're looking at it from even that perspective. A uh, little bit about, and I don't want to get too far off track here because the question was, why are you so passionate about this? Uh, having been working in the industry in Colorado, I've really gotten to see the potential of what this is going to do. And with the amount of phone calls we get at our company there in Colorado, of everybody just coming back and saying, I cannot believe how much this has changed my life. How many, how many prescription drugs I've gone off of, and I don't want to talk to this necessarily from a medicinal standpoint, but to see that this is actually truly helping people live normal, good lives with not any pharmaceutical drugs is pretty amazing to me. So we get a lot of those calls coming in, and that actually has driven me further to educate myself further um, in doing that. Um, kind of going back to uh, what, what Gary said there, uh, having the opportunity, we're in a perfect storm here in North Carolina, and I'll sum this up pretty quick. Um, with the, the, you know, the reduction of the tobacco industry, we have eager farmers, we have a lot of leftover in infrastructure not being used, we have North Carolina State University, which I can tell you as I've been speaking in the hemp industry um, for over three years now, I keep hearing North Carolina State University is who the world looks to for agricultural knowledge. So if you guys aren't hearing that on the inside, know that the outside thinks that. <laughs> so um, and in, then we also have the textile industry here that has been gone into, has gone into decline. Calvin and I have had meetings with these uh, some of the executives there, and these guys are eager. So we have a great potential here in North Carolina with uh, the Research Triangle Park, the universities, the farmers, the land availability to actually lead this industry and uh, and. Mike uh, will probably back me up on that because we're seeing, I mean, in a lot of other states here and seeing the development of this. So.